Hello and welcome to the beleaguered castle. Alright, we come to that stage in the game where we've got tons of skull keys. When you've got four skull keys, you can do the um, the crypt. You can go and do the, uh, the four keys up on the top ledge. So obviously to go up onto the top ledge, we need to head down to the beach. End up with a bit of a thump. Um, he's alright. He's got sore feet. So what we do is we take out a couple of these turtles to make sure we've got food. Lovely old beach in this one. God, this is one of the best. Very nice turtle. So we just take out a few of these turtles. We're going to go down and use the four. Um, oh, missed out. <laughs> ran away. Um, what, four skull keys, which is great. Oh, nothing. Sometimes that happens. Right, that's probably enough food. So we are going to head through to the top ledge. Oh, there's loads of them. Look at the ocean. Look at the seaside. The old bucket and spade out. Right, we're not going to worry about these turtles. Oh, right, you're right. You insist. One more for the Minotaur. One more for the Sorcerer. He can't, actually. Sorry, he can't. Um, we'll put that down for later. Right, so if you've got four skull keys, what you do is you put them in here. One goes in there. You need four. You need four of them, and we already put two down. Oh no. Uh, we put down two from earlier on. Sometimes it's quite handy. Look, and that's just opened up. So now we're into here. Um, so there's a door here. Well, that'll stay closed for a very long time until you solve the puzzle. Which is, you go to old Uncle Arnold here, you find his sandwiches, you put it back, and that now opens up. Um, I don't know whether that's a hard or an easy puzzle to be honest, but anyway, through here we've got uh, Uncle Arnold's deceased old brother. Now, we have found this acolyte staff, I think we found it in um, basically the place where you put the three round keys in on those massive great top ledges. So we are now totally prepared, oh, wait a minute. He needs to have it in his hand. Right, we are now prepared. We've got the uh, saucer. Oh, look, he's out. He's out. He's out. So that's great. The saucer can fire, and so can the rat master. See? That's not that's quite impressive. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He took him out. Look at that. How easy was that? So that opens that door. That's one way to open this door, by the way. You don't have to do it that way. Uh, that's one way, you just kill that green creature and that opens that door we just come through. Um, so it's quite handy if you've got that acolyte staff because then um, that's a great way you can team up with the sorcerer and uh, there's two of you taking him down like that and as you saw the spell to um, take out that ethereal is all those icons. That won't open the door. Um, but it's worth a try. It's certainly worth a try. Uh, there you go, look. It did open the door. No, it didn't. Just place an item on the ground. That opens the next door. Um, now, basically, what happens now is we actually end up going out of this place. By the way, um, the next step in this little place here is to take this sword. That sets everything else off. Now, we haven't done that yet because... There's another area that you might like to um, attend, and that is on the right here. See those two trees sticking up, and you see those rocks in between them? Look. So you can see there's something going on there. There's something in on the board there. You come out of this, and you can just go straight through the hedge. Uh, it's kind of a secret little side mission, this, but there's loads of loot to be had. But it's quite a lot to solve. Um, basically, there's these buttons. Don't drop, do don't drop down onto the floor. Um, if you drop 
down onto the floor. It's not going to do you any harm because you can exit. However, you won't be able to solve the, the loot. You only be able to get all the loot. I mean, there's tons of loot to be had. Um, so the first step is to press this button. Don't drop down onto the ground below. If you drop down onto there, there's quite a lot of fighting to be had, but not a lot of loot. And you just exit, so you just press these buttons. Uh, it's a bit of a puzzle area, and you can see all these various magic bridges coming into play. So try and stay on this level. Um, now the next button, because there's nowhere to go, you just went to that little area there. So the next button here, and then go across on this one. It's all very easy to begin with. Um, there's no resistance to speak of. Just try and step carefully. So now we're going across here. It's all very simple. Now it starts getting a bit tricky. Um, you need to try and figure this out. Right, what's on there? I, don't, I think that's the place where all the loot is. You start seeing where all the loot is. Look, there's a massive great jar in the middle of that walkway. Um, you can actually look down and see. Look, there's a box there and that's full of stuff. Um, that is where all the loot is on there. If you can get to it, you're, you're going to do pretty well out of it. So you can along down here and you jump into the water. Now, you're going to see a button just around the corner. That is the button that activates the pathways you want. So you've done that. Now this second button here is a cursed button. That deactivates all the pathways, so never touch that. Don't touch that one, because if you do, when you go up the ladder, you're going to find there's nowhere to go. And this is, no, I've got to admit, I don't know what that's all about. That's obviously something else, I can't remember. But anyway, when you come along here, look down here, there's a pathway there. That's the one that we need. Uh, it's all very grand, that's the one that we came through. When you get to the end there, it turns left. So you go ahead forward, and you're into this place. Now you've got three chains to choose from. It's a bit of a binary situation. It's zero, one, zero. So you just pull the uh, middle one, and you've solved everything. Just pull the middle one, and that's it. You're over to the loot. Now be careful. As you move forward, just go one. If you happen to go two, you end up in that, and that is the exit ball, and you're stuffed for the loot. Look, you've got all this fantastic stuff here. I mean, you really have, look, it's got a lightning bow. I think you might have that already. Has he got a lightning bow already? Let's have a little check. I don't know. Anyway, the lightning bow is the top bow in the game, and it is absolutely terrific stuff. Just bunged around here. There's a heavy shield there, which is obviously tons better than this flipping thing she's got. Um, let's have a look. She's got protect evasion plus two on it at the moment. Um, this is the heavy shield, which is evasion plus six straight away. Uh, that's, a, that's a three times better shield than what she's got. Look, there's a rope there. It's always, I mean, there's no other spare rope in the game, I don't think. So that's a spare rope because you don't want to lose that. Um, what? Uh, let's have a look, a look at this box. Oh, I did fib. There's nothing in it. It's just a spare box. But anyway, there's tons of stuff. So we got four potions of resurrection. That is blinding. Come on. Four potions of resurrection. This is like bargain of the century, isn't it? Um, so this is well worth hitting this if you can get it. Look at that. That's marvellous for the sorcerer. Oh, look. Armoured gloves. I think these are the top gloves you can get. Let's have a little look. Um, yeah, protection plus 15. Look. look, that's even better than the one she's got. They're like gold gloves. What's it? Is he on? Um, he's on top armor. Look, so he he can have these. He can have these. These are far better than the ones he's got. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'd we'd keep the uh, the light arm ones, but I mean there is so much stuff here. Look, nine poison bombs. There's just tons of gear. Let's see if he can put that in the box. I don't know. It's just running out of room, aren't we? Um, oh look, 30! 30 quarrels! Wow! You're never going to get 30 quarrels anywhere else in the game, I can guarantee that. Um, there's some, just some little odds and sods in that, in case they're hungry. Anybody hungry? Let's do a little check. Uh, this is a fantastic loot area, if you can just solve a few of those puzzles, but uh, maybe you don't, I don't know. Oh, look at this lot, look at these boots. 
plate grieves. Let's have a little look. Um, plus 12. Oh no, she's got better boots already, but I bet the Minotaur hasn't. Let's have a look for the Minotaur. Look, he's got the very, he's just got the basic boots. Look, look at this. He's gone straight up to the top arm of boots. He can't get much better than that. No, he's alright. He's got um, protection plus four. Actually, these are better. But there you are. How about that? Done pretty well there. So this is like a treasure trove. Look, 71 bullets there. Um, I don't think we should give them to the old uh, rat masters. Just too much. But well, they're, they're really heavy now. These lot. They're really heavy. God, it just goes on and on, doesn't it? It really just goes on and on. There's a fantastic firearm here. Look. Um, the Arkwee bus, I should think, is comparable. It's 17 to 52. It's actually better than what he's got there. That's actually better than that one. How about that? It's, it's actually significantly greater. Um, so they're, they're both going slow now because they've just got so much gear. Look, this is a pretty good shield, actually. Um, I don't know whether he can take it. Actually, let's give him all the heavy stuff. Um, I don't think we're going to need to worry too much about... Oh, no, look, he's gone over. He's gone over. He's gone over. He's actually gone over. Oh, he can't take the weight. I thought he was a pretty strong geezer, the old mine at all. Um, ah, oh, they're all going over. Look, I tell you what, I think we'll be all right. Because we're actually, we're just two minutes away from the blue stones now. So we might as well just load up. I know they're all getting a bit overweight. That's pretty good. I think we've got most of the loot now, but it's... Oh my god, look. Here's that sword that we were actually going to... Um, she can use it, funny enough. No, it's for the, it's for the Minotaur. What's he on? He's on... Oh, we can nearly use it. He's one notch off from using it. Oh, there's loads of gear here, look. There's loads of gear. Fantastic. Um, what else? Antidote. So we don't often get that. Oh, look, this is... Oh, look, the best amulet in the game. So I think we've been around the whole lot and you can actually jump into the water, this is your exit um, and there's no defences activated or anything, you can take whatever you want um, because this is at this point of the game, this is where you're supposed to go. So this, this for one thing, because we often see this place going absolutely nuts, so this is the one time when you can have a leisurely stroll round, um, takes things like this. but. Uh, You've got no defences happening because this is this is the point of the game where you're supposed to be here. <laughs> the minute you leave is a different story. Okay, we left. So that's it. You can't if you go back in there now, you're gonna have defences going off all over the place. So that's a pretty good puzzle area. Um, if you can figure it out, there's quite a lot of stuff to have, but there's this thing for one thing. Um, all those quarrels. Oh. All those quarrels, 30 quarrels. So I don't know what we did with the crossbow. I know we found it already. There's a spare rope there, which is absolutely brilliant to have a spare rope. Um, he might as well add that. Look, he's, gain he's gained resist cold. There's um, all these bombs. Um, there's a spare shield. That is a pretty good shield to have, actually. Um, we could just keep that for later. There's a spare box there, I don't know what we want to use it for, but it's always nice to have a box, it's just empty. Um, done pretty well out of that. Um, oh yeah, we've got that. That can go with the other ones. So that's how you get through that area. Um, obviously there's lots more to that area, to be honest. Um, but we did, we did the most important bits, that is for sure. Um, he doesn't need those gloves, to be honest. Those gloves down, he's all a bit over. Oh look, it's this thing, look. That is a that's look, look at that. Health plus fifty, that's the top amulet in the game as far as I know. Oh, it's the shield that's causing a problem, look. That's a heavy old shield. Um well, she can have that shield, can't she? Oh she's overweight with it. Mind you, this is a spare weapon. That's a spare weapon. She's um she's got this thing. Actually I quite like this one. Um might swap round to that one. Um, oh, it's this bow, isn't it? Um, right, so that is a, that is the top bow. But anyway, you um, you saw the uh, you saw the solution kind of thing to getting through that area. <laughs> oh, look at this! 
this, look. He's got all these blue ones. Anyway, that's great. So, thank you for coming with me. See you on another tape. Cheers.